Hey buddy. You got anything you want to say before we start today's video? Nope. Hey, you're watching Wobble Boy on YouTube. Hey, Wobble Boy, how's it going YouTube? It's your boy Wobble Boy. And that's Goo back there. Goo! Nope. Okay, yeah, he doesn't really want to talk or anything. Oh, he just moved right up there. But anyway, let's get into this video. So, this video, now I know I say it's different, but we're going to be talking about shoes. Yes, shoes. I know I just did a video about the Air Jordan spider man you know. I still love them. Never actually wore them yet. You know, I've only had them for like maybe a week now. Still love these things. Love them to death. Never touched the ground yet. I feel that. You see that? Anyway. Yeah, we're not gonna be talking about these. We're not even gonna be talking about the SpongeBob vans that I got right here in this box. Nope, no, we're not gonna talk about those even though they're limited. We're not even gonna talk about the Crocs that I have still that I bought and never even did an unboxing on them. You can still smell the cinnamon. I said cinnamon! Cinnamon! Yes, no, we're not gonna talk about these either. What we are gonna talk about is a pair of shoes that is beyond limited edition. That's what I call them, beyond limited. A pair of shoes that your boy Waba should have in my hand right here, and I don't have them. We're talking about the legendary meme, the Lemon Pepper Stepper Shoes. For those that don't know, yes, it's a meme. You know, I really don't even know the origin of it or how it started or whatnot, but it's a meme. And the shoe shirt uh, surgeon, and that's his name, made it a reality with Nike. And Wingstop. You guys know I've done videos before on Wingstop. I like them. I like their product. I like eating it. You know, I like it. They make some good stuff. Good wings, good chicken sandwiches, all that. But they had a shoe combined with the shoe surgeon. Bam, here it is, show a picture of it. There it is right there. You couldn't tell from the thumbnail, that's the picture. That's what they look like. The thing about it is, and I'm about to get into it, there's only, if my memory serves me, 55 of them in the world. How I know this is because the only way to even receive them, you had to apply to a contest, it was a nationwide contest, that Wingstop put out on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. I did. Hey, they hit me back. I actually had a DM. Boom, they hit me back in the DM. Hit me back in the emails. They kept hitting me back, hitting me back. And next thing I know, bam, I became a part of the grand winners list. So they're only going to give out about 25 of them. Here's my name right here on the winners list. I officially won them. And then on top of that, uh, I even have the official contract that they made me sign and everything for all the intense purposes because if you guys don't know when you win something of a certain magnitude like a prize is right or any of those other uh, game shows or whatnot you have to fill that out in your taxes at least here in america i'm not sure about the world but definitely in america because pretty much you're winning something that the average person isn't going to get you're getting a big sum of money even when you win the lottery you have to pay taxes on that you know i'm not just going to give you a million dollars just to give you a million dollars you know but anyway i won the shoes but the debacle of it is as I was talking with Wingstop, or email, not even Wingstop, the collaboration with them is a thing called Hello World. I was talking with them. They told me, unfortunately, this is maybe two weeks ago from the day of recording, this is five, as a few weeks ago from this date, they hit me with emails telling me, hey, sadly, we're not gonna be able to send you shoes. However, according to the official contract, we will be able to send you the amount that they're made. Now here's a picture, I guess, like right here to, to tell you that what they said. Now I'm not going to tell you exactly how much they were because I don't think I actually can. And you'll be like, really? What? They're worth that much? I'm like, yeah, they were worth, let's just say, a pretty penny. I'll just say that. But I got the alternative prize. Actually, I got another email, I think, here, and it tells me that I wasn't the only one. From what I've seen about this shoe, it's so rare and so limited. They didn't want to give it out, from what I infer from my professional opinion of how to run a business. They didn't want to give it out to people or regular people like me um, because they probably figured we could flip the shoes and sell them for quite a bit of money. Which is true. I mean, most people could. I probably would eventually. Or I just keep them as a name. The point I'm trying to make is 
I do like shoes. I am somewhat of a sneakerhead. I would have loved to have them beyond, you know, belief. Definitely, who wouldn't? But I didn't get them. And here's the thing: I never got an official answer why they wouldn't send them out. Hell, I've even reached out. If you, if anybody watches this, who's involved, I've reached out to the shoe surgeon, Wingstop. Hell, even Rick Ross. I've sent him a tweet about this. Now I have the cards. Actually, they send them another thing. They sent it to me in cards, so that's kind of a. Uh, I could have done it online, but they sent it to me in these master cards right here. Yeah, this one and this one. Two separate cards. They sent it to me. Can't zoom in anything. I'm not going to show you the, how much they're worth. None of that. But these two cards right here, and I got the official letter that you know says uh, master card. Please enjoy. That's all I got from them. And that's my story of how I almost had the most expensive shoe that I never got. I almost had it. was in the palm of my hand. That's my little story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really just my rant. But I'm thankful for the alternative fries. I'm thankful for even being acknowledged um, about that. If you guys want more stories or more things like this, let me know in the comments below. I try to like to upload these to video a week now. I'm a busy man. I have a pretty, not demanding, but very decent day job that pays me very well. Um, and I'm really big on like projects, like for entertainment in general. I'm working on my own manga as we speak. And I'm currently working on a lot of, uh, trying to do a lot of um, acting projects, voice acting and acting as well. Um, link below if you wanna look at my reels or anything, or you know, there's other videos I've done. Thank you all for watching. Till next time, guys. We're going to be playing some games later on. Wob out. Go.